Before I ask why you are trespassing on private property, my lady, I do believe it would be more polite to ask why you are out in the forest this late. Are you looking for something, or perhaps someone? The opposite. Do explain, would you? I see. You're running from someone. And whom are you running from? Your father. I take it he treated you poorly enough to drive you to trespassing? Is that so? He told you to leave. I do hope you'll forgive me for intruding, my lady. However, I must ask, why would a demon such as yourself be afraid of her own father? Oh, yes, my lady, I can tell. For you see, a demon's eyes will glow bright pink when their owner has come into contact with another demon, and I happen to be a demon myself. My name is Claude Faustus, I am the spider demon. And, I take it, your father or your mother was a demon as well? How do I know? I can sense that you are far weaker than I am. You are merely... half-demon. On your mother's side, or your father's, dear? Your father's. And... What might your father's name be? <laughs> Sebastian Michaelis. I see. Tell me, my lady. Though he told you to leave, would you say that he cares about you? You would. And what leads you to believe this? He originally asked his master to allow you to stay. And he asked his master to offer you employment. I see. Then tell me. If you were to find another employer, how well would your father take the news? It would depend on the employer? Well, my lady, I am proposing that you come to work with me and serve my young master. Perhaps he would even be willing to give you a slice of his soul in exchange for your service. A trap? Why on earth would you think that this is a trap? Oh, is that so? Your previous employer offered you the same deal. However, your father was not pleased? I take it this is why he told you to leave, yes? How very interesting. Well, my lady, I assure you, this isn't a trap meant for you. This trap is in fact meant to ensnare your father. If you wouldn't mind playing the bait, that is. Why is it meant for your father? Well, you see, my lady, my master had a run-in with your father some years ago. From what I know, your father is responsible for the death of my young master's brother. And because of this, my master seeks revenge. If your father would not be pleased with you being employed by my side, I believe that my master may have his revenge. And you will have a new job, with a new employer. You'll have shelter, and three meals a day. And if that isn't enough for you, I'm more than willing to share my master's soul when our contract is complete. What do you say, my lady? Will you accept this offer? You are uncertain. And why might that be? Even after all that's happened, you remain loyal to your father. And why is that? Because you're bound by blood? My lady, he threw you aside for the sake of a soul. 
Do you really think he gives a damn about the blood you share? As I thought, please, accept this offer. Allow my master to avenge his brother, and you shall receive a portion of his exquisite soul. You think there's a catch? My lady, I have already informed you of what the catch to this little deal is. Your father's entrapment. That's the only catch there is, my lady. If you're willing to overlook it, I'd be more than happy to make this deal with you. Will you accept? Excellent. Then... Go back to your previous place of employment and gather your things. I shall inform my employer of your arrival. Yes, I am certain he will take the news well. If it means enacting his revenge on your father, Sebastian Michaelis, he is willing to do whatever it takes. Well, Bassie is certainly more stubborn than I ever remember. <laughs> If I get my hands on him again, I'm going to give him more than a stern talking to. Why, I might even be willing to use my death scythe on him. Oh, how can he do this to his own daughter? I just... I will never understand that man. At first he was so willing to accept her with open arms, but the moment she mentioned the deal with their master... Oh, it all went downhill from there. Oh! Oh, goodness! Darling, you mustn't creep up on me like that. Wait, what are you doing back already? You left in such a hurry I didn't think I would see you until morning. Oh, darling, no! You have not come to collect your things. You are going to stay right here. What? You... You found another job? At this time? And so soon? Darling, is there something you're not telling me? Why do I want to know? I'm worried about you, darling. The way your father spoke to you, it was absolutely unacceptable. And I will not stand idly by while the two of you disregard your relationship. Now tell me, who is this new employer of yours? You don't know his name? Why, how can you be employed by someone without even knowing their name? <laughs> could you... Could you repeat that one more time, darling? I need to be certain I heard you properly the first time. Oh, oh, goodness. As you were running, you ran into Claude Faustus. The spider demon? Do you even realize how absolutely horrid that man is? Oh, yes, darling. He may have managed to hide himself behind a facade of pleasantness, but on the inside, darling, he's as wicked as the spider he can become. How do I know this? You see, darling... I've met him on several occasions. After all, he's collected several souls, and I had to write a few names out of my book. It was rather tiring work, and I always hated having to put up with him. Darling, if your employer has also employed Claude Faustus, you cannot go anywhere near that place. Believe me, that man means nothing but trouble." Darling, no, no, just because he is offering you a job where you'll be treated more humanely, that doesn't mean that he's a good, safe person to be around. Oh, really? There was no catch to his little offer? I highly doubt that. Why on earth would he offer a job to a random woman running through the night? <laughs> he... 
he wishes to use you as bait for Bassie? Darling, this is the kind of catch I was referring to. You can't go through with this, darling. I won't allow it. Darling, believe me. If you work alongside Claude Faustus, then your father will not only attempt to disown you, he may eventually attempt to kill you. He may be your father, darling, but when it comes to Claude Faustus and his fellow spiders, your father will show no mercy, no matter what. Please, darling, I am urging you to reconsider. For your own safety, please. Grell, I was thinking about what you said, and I... Oh, dear, you've returned. Oh, no, it's all right. I'm not going to yell at you, I'm not going to threaten you. Come closer, would you? What is that? What is that on your hand? It appears to be a contract seal of some kind. Did you... Did you seek out another soul and make a contract all your own? No? Then... What on earth is this for? Darling, think about what you're going to say before you say it. I suggest you take my words into consideration. What on earth is Grail talking about, dear? I see. You found new employment. And may I inquire as to where that is? You're joking. You have to be joking. Please, dear, tell me you're joking. She isn't, Bassie. I asked her a million times, and she still insists that this is the truth. I see. My dear, you do realize that Claude Faustus and his master have no reason to be after me, don't you? Why should you believe me? I'm your father, dear. Do you really think that I would attempt to deceive you? <laughs> that... That was a lapse in judgment on my part. It was my demonic nature taking hold. I... I don't wish for you to excuse my behavior because of my nature, but I would like you to understand it because of what I am. Please, dear, we need to move past this. I can overlook the offer that my master made to you. Perhaps we can, indeed, share his soul. Please, don't believe a word that falls from that spider's lips. He is the one who is attempting to deceive you, my dear. You have to trust me. No, where do you think you're going? You are not going to collect your things. In fact, once you go inside, you aren't leaving. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Oh, please, don't give me that look. You wanted me to act like your father, so I'll act like your father. Go inside, go to your room and stay there for the remainder of the evening. Go. Well, Bassie, that was a side of you I never thought I'd see. Oh, shut up, Grell. Oh, goodness! How rude! I don't have time for this right now. I need to figure out how to break this contract between the two of them. It may not be as strong as a human and demon making a contract, however... Because she is still partially human, it does create a bond that is eternal unless broken by both parties, and I suspect that neither one of them will be willing to budge. Oh, indeed, this is quite the predicament. Yes, it is. 
Perhaps I'll just have to have a word with that spider.'